everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another episode in my Create This Book series and I feel like it's been quite a long time since my last one so I am super excited to show you all of the pages I completed. So this first page that I completed says create a page for your favorite character and I made a page for Ariel because I really like mermaids and oceans and stuff like that. So I drew this big picture of Ariel on the left and then I just went crazy drawing like a bunch of different under the sea coral and plants and I also wrote her name over here and I colored this all in with marker. I used mostly my Tombow brush markers and then I also outlined it or some sections of it with a white gel pen. So on this next page, you're supposed to create your favorite outfit. So my favorite outfit has to be any type of workout clothing from Lululemon. So I decided to make a completely Lululemon themed page. So I'm starting off by taking these paper fashion craft klutz books. If any of you guys had this when you were younger, please let me know because I was a huge fan of these and I still have a bunch of stuff. So it comes with a bunch of different papers and tracers. So I am going to try to replicate some some Lululemon clothing with these like paper fashion crafts so I started by cutting out this mannequin to put on there and then I traced out some different leggings and workout tops and I just kind of had fun creating them in the colors that I would like so I guess it's more than one outfit but these are all outfits that I would love to wear so it, I think it I think it definitely counts but I cut all of those out and I added some details on them with other pieces of paper and little designs with like white gel pens and stuff like that and some of them I also added this like see-through type paper to make it look like there's like mesh or something on it but I had a lot of fun doing this and then I took a circle tracer thing and I drew out a Lululemon logo just with a pencil and then I colored that in with a fine liner and some Tombow markers. So if any of you have received a reusable Lululemon bag that you get when you purchase something from there, it was kind of going for that with the look of this page. So I just wrote out Lululemon over here and added some drop shadows and as you can see I glued on all of the different clothing pieces and then added these doodles and words to describe why this outfit is my favorite. And I also added some more black and white Lululemon logos just to tie everything together and I really like how this page turned out. It was a lot of fun to make. It's something different from my normal like draw and color type pages. So yeah. So this next page says to create a family, draw, attach, or assemble an image of a family. So I made a bunch of different paper chains with just some white um, printer paper and I cut those out and then glued those onto a black background that I made with some watercolor. And on the middle of the page I wrote we are family in a bunch of different rainbow colors. The family part I did in calligraphy and then we are. I did these black letters with a rainbow outline on the outside and these I actually cut out or the we are I cut out on separate pieces of paper and then glued them in to just make it a little bit easier so I didn't have to draw on top of the black that I had already painted and then I covered the entire page with packing tape. So the last thing that I did in my create this book was decorate the cover which I've been meaning to do for a very long time. So this is what the cover looks like before I started painting it. So this process took me a lot longer than I expected but I decided to use acrylic paint because I thought it would be the best option to get lots of different colors and also to be as durable as, durable as possible. So I went ahead and took out my acrylic paints and I mixed a bunch of different blue colors and a few green colors and I started by doing the outline of it in this like watery wave type of pattern. I was kind of going for an ocean theme 
throughout it. It didn't really turn out like an ocean. It looked really looks really pretty in the end, but after that I used some Sharpies to clean up some of the edges that weren't super great. And I'm just using three different colors here and they weren't like the greatest matches, but I mean it got the job done. And after that I went ahead with my paint again and I mixed a new color and I started painting the background of the book. So for the outside I did the wave pattern and then I did a lighter blue outside of the paint splatter I guess and then a darker blue inside and I tried to paint it kind of light so I could still see underneath it so I could um, go over that with Sharpie once everything had dried. So over here I'm just doing this other paint splotch at the bottom with some darker blue paint and then to make the edges a little bit crisper I just used a sharpie once everything had dried with a ruler and yeah. And here is the finished product of the Create This Book cover. I am actually so, so happy with how it turned out. I think the colors just look very, very pretty. And as you can see, I added some white drop shadows on the Create This Book title just to make it pop a little bit more. And I have plans to cover the front with some packing tape, tape to make it a little bit more durable. But yeah, that is how it turned out. I'm really happy to have a nice cover now because before my cover was getting super dirty and gross so hopefully this will keep it looking nice. Here is just a quick overview of all of the pages that I created this time. I'm so sorry that I only ended up doing two on film but sometimes life just gets in the way and it's easier to do off camera and then just show you later but hopefully I'll be able to um, do more on camera as I'm home a lot now during this quarantine time so these are the three pages and cover page that I completed. If you guys are interested in watching more Create This Book videos I will make sure to leave a link to my entire playlist in the description box.